everybody. So today I'm going to show you how you can move your photos and videos and files from your Samsung Galaxy J, J series or the A series. Okay, it all works pretty much the same way. Now, first thing you got to do is connect your phone to your computer. Okay, so let me go ahead and pop this in right here. And you just heard that that sound so we know that my phone is connected. Now let me go ahead and just click on this. You wanna open up your file explorer, this folder like right down here. So let me just tap on that. And let me just go to my phone really fast. And the thing is, if your phone is not connecting, you may wanna go into your USB computer connection here on your phone and you wanna make sure you have on MTP, okay? If you only have camera, the PTP, then you're only able to transfer only photos. You won't be able to transfer videos. Videos basically won't show up if you have this function on here. Now, if you're still using MTP and it's your computer is not finding your phone, then what you may have to do is update your driver or just download Samsung keys and that usually solves like 90% of the issues where you have connection uh, issues. But it could also be your, your, your um, USB cable too, okay? If I had this numerous times where the data transfer won't work on the USB cable, won't register or find my phone, but it'll just charge. So the cable is a big, big deal. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you my computer screen here. And you can see that I just opened up my folder and we can see that my Galaxy J5 is here, the 2016. So let me go ahead and double tap on this. Let me open it up. And now we can see we have card and we have phone here. So obviously the card here is my SD card and my my phone is my internal memory on my phone. So let me go ahead and double tap on my phone here. And then from here, what you typically do is you have a bunch of folders. You always wanna go into DCIM right here in the top right hand corner. Let me double click on that. And then from here, I have screenshots, which basically, if you take any screenshots of your phone, basically you just hold two buttons down like this. Just took a screenshot but in the camera is where your photos and videos will be. So let, let's go ahead and double tap the camera. And now here's all my photos and videos. So if you want to move some of these, what you need to do is tap the ones that you want. Or if you wanted to move this entire folder onto your computer as like a backup, let, let me go ahead and click on the back button here. What you can simply do as well is you can just go ahead and just right click and you can copy this. Or you can cut it and move it to your your computer but let's just do this just for this example here let's pick a video and a photo here I'm just gonna pick two for this example and let's go ahead and move this to my my computer so from right so I have this right here now what I can do here is I can right click and then I could copy or I could cut okay now what's the difference between cut and copy well cut basically it's it means move okay so if I cut it right here and then I paste these two um, files into my computer basically is going to erase off of my phone and only be on my computer. However, if I right click and I click copy, and then if I go to and paste this into my computer, then I'm going to have a copy on each. It's still going to be on my phone and it's going to be on my computer. So I just copied it. Let me just do it again. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And now let's move it to my, my computer. And how do you do that? Well, you can drag and drop it to like another folder. There's so many ways you can do this. You can drag and drop it, or you can just go ahead and just copy or right click, click on copy, and then you can go to like this PC or my PC, and then I can go under, so I'm under my computer, and then I can find, I can go in under any um, folder here, or I can just make a folder, like right click, click on new, new and then make a new folder and I'll just put uh, Galaxy Photos, press on enter and then I can just double click and I can right click and I can paste it. So now these two files are being transferred onto my, my computer. Another thing you can do too is you can open up two file explorers, okay? So basically if I, this is a Windows 8.1 computer by the way, but if I go down here and I right click, I can click on File Explorer right here if I click on that, now I have two windows. Now what I can do is under this window here, I can go under this PC. I can go back into my J5 here, my phone. And then I can click on phone here. Then I can go back into DCIM. And then I can click on camera. 
And now what I can do is I can just basically drag and drop onto this folder here. So let's say I wanted to place some of these photo, photos and videos into somewhere under documents. And then we'll just put it under that folder that I just made. All right, it was called Galaxy Photos right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select some files here. This picture is good. Uh, this video here and this picture and this video. And then what I can do is I can simply drag and drop. Let me do that again. Select here, here, and here. So here's three files. Now I can drag it and go right into my Galaxy Photos folder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let go. And now what I'm doing now is I'm copying it, but I already have it in there. Let me just go ahead and copy and replace. And now once this is done, now I copied it. So I still have this on my phone and I have it now. I have it on my, on my, um, on my computer as well. So let me double click on there. And here are the three files that I just moved. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, just comment below. And if you subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. Thanks.